both first order low pass filter and first order high pass filter using one op amp design is shown here. Uh, we want to find out the voltage transfer function or basically the out over V in for both of them and then intuitively discuss and find out the transfer function. Uh, in both circuits, we make the assumption that op amp is ideal. So op amp is ideal. <clears throat> and also we make the assumption that the BIOS, the supply voltage VDD, and the VEE are properly set for the positive and negative supply voltage so that op amp is operating in linear region of operation, not saturated. So op amp is in linear region, in linear region of operation. With these two in mind, uh, assuming ideal op amp because it is in negative feedback loop, we can make the assumption that V positive and voltage at negative input terminal of the op amp, they are equal, basically the virtual short, this is referred to as virtual short, holds for the op amp at the input. Now with this in mind, uh, so let's name this equation number one, and then uh, let's now, knowing that the op amp is ideal, input impedance of op amp is infinite, therefore no current flows through the input port of op amp as shown here, and uh, as a result, we can just have between R and C a voltage division coming from V in. So we can say voltage at positive input terminal of the op amp circuit as low pass filter on the right on the left side is equal to uh, impedance of capacitor CS 1 over CS divided by on in denominator R plus 1 over CS times V in, uh, which can be further simplified in the form of 1 over 1 plus RCS times V in. So let's name equation number two. And finally, there is no current flows through the negative input terminal of op amp because it has imp infinite impedance. And therefore, from V out, there is a voltage division between R1 and R2 to get to the voltage at the negative terminal. Therefore, I can write V at negative terminal is just simply R2 over R1 plus R2 times V out. That's equation number three. So using uh, these uh, three uh, results, we conclude that by, from 1, 2, and 3, we get, so basically set the positive and negative voltage equal to each other. That means 2 should be equal to 3. And if we do that, we reshuffle just by simple reshuffling of things uh, by, uh, let's say, R2 over R1 plus R2, I get V out over Vn. I'm just setting equation number 3, uh, which is basically the voltage at negative terminal equal to equation number 2. And then reshuffling things around, we get V over V in equal to um, R2. Uh, so let's put it this way. So it become 1 plus R1 over R2 in numerator divided by R1 plus RCS. So as you can see, this voltage transfer function V out over V in for this circuit is showing just one pole in, uh, for, for the whole transfer function, which is uh, basically setting the denominator to zero, one plus RCS equal to zero. And uh, for sinusoidal steady state analysis, so in sinusoidal uh, steady state analysis, which means when we are dealing with, um, when we set the S equal to J omega, what we get is the transfer function or voltage transfer function or AD or gain, which is V out over Vn, and is simply 1 plus R1 over R2, and then divide by 1 plus JRC omega. As expected, when we are at DC, omega, our frequency is zero, so the denominator becomes one. Therefore, the whole transfer function or gain is just simply one plus R1 over R2. We can adjust the gain by setting the value of R1 and R2. When the frequency is infinite, which means super large frequency, uh, at high frequency, the denominator becomes in approximately approaches very large numbers, so it becomes infinite, and therefore the whole thing becomes zero. As expected, this is a low pass filter. Intuitively speaking, at super high frequency, the impedance of cap becomes close to zero. Cap is effectively short circuit. Therefore, you put AC short, the positive input terminal of op amp to zero. And because of virtual short, the negative input becomes zero, and therefore the output becomes zero. Nothing from input to output goes when you're dealing with high frequency. So this is intuitively also a low-pass filter. 
for the circuit shown on the right side, the high pass one, we do the same thing again because op amp is properly biased and it's negative feedback and then it's uh, operating in linear region, not saturated. Ideal op amp, the same assumption we have here, therefore equation number one holds for this circuit as well. Uh, now for the positive terminal, what we can do is the same argument, meaning that no current flows to the positive, therefore I can write uh, Vn, V positive terminal is equal to a voltage division between R and cap, which is then R over R plus 1 over Cs times Vn, which means RCS divided by 1 plus RCS times Vn. So let's name this equation number 2 in this case. And for equation number 3, the same equation applies for the right-hand side circuit. No current flows to negative terminal, so the voltage between R1 and R2 is obtained from equation number three as well. Now, same thing, using equation one, two, and three, in which by two I mean, uh, let's say two, uh, this two, two A. So equation two A. Then we get, by setting the positive terminal equal to, equal to negative terminal, I get RCS divided by one plus RCS, times V in should be equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 V out. So it become it is R2 over R1 plus R2 times V out. Again, we need to reshuffle things around. So gain for the circuit on the right side, uh, or basically AV uh, is V out over V in. And uh, I just need to rewrite it in this format. So it becomes one plus R1 over R2 times RCS divided by 1 plus RCS. So this is the voltage gain that we have for this circuit. Let me highlight it this way. And as you can see, we are de dealing with one first order denominator. So this is a first order high pass filter and it has one pole and one zero. Um, and then if we go with the uh, sinus over the state uh, analysis, then S equal to J omega. If that is the case, then you can write the whole uh, V out over V in equal to uh, 1 plus R1 over R2 times JRC omega divided by 1 plus JRC omega. As we can see, when the omega is 0 or for DC, numerator becomes zero, so the gain is zero. So as expected, it's not, the circuit is not passing anything to the output for at low frequency at DC. But when omega goes to infinity, then numerator, numerator and this denominator asymptotically become equal to each other, so the whole thing becomes just one plus R1 over R2. So at super high frequency or high, high enough frequency, then the gain is one plus R1 over the R2. Intuitively speaking, when uh, we are at high enough frequency, then impedance of cap is zero, and therefore cap is short circuit. V in uh, AC steady state analysis becomes equal to voltage of positive terminal, and because of virtual short, the voltage of negative terminal becomes V in, and therefore from that to V out is just simply uh, 1 plus R1 over R2. At very low frequency at DC, this cap is open circuit, and therefore nothing from input goes to the output. I hope that uh, you find this uh, video helpful.